<laughs> Welcome back to the Bouncing Potatoes podcast. Before we start, fuck you, Discover. Trash bank. <laughs> Trash bank. Whoa, attack, All right. attack. All right, horrific bank. I would made an attack account with them. them. I made an account with them. And then the very next day, I tried to access that account, and it wouldn't let me access the account unless I called them. So fuck you, Discover. Waste of my time. All right. Uh, so Actually, anyway, well, that's your fault because I you sh- I would have sent you my Chase link and you could have made an account with them. So Ethan, flip you because you haven't sent me the Chase link to anything. Well, then, I asked you. I asked for it. I asked for the Chase card on the last podcast. Oh well, I have the link. I'll send it to you. It's, I, I that's no. what you said last week. <laughs> Well, I, I get like 15,000 bonus points, if you, and you get a lot too, so you should do it. I mean, I'm going to it. open, I'm most likely going to open up a Chase credit card. The, the, you, if, yeah, yeah, the yes. Sapphire, correct? No, Freedom, Freedom. The fr- Freedom, yeah. I'll send you the Freedom. Wizard Tris will remind me if I don't do it. Cool, thank you. All right, so my name is Osanda. That guy over there is... There's Ethan, and off to the side, a ghost is a wizardress. Yes. So, no Christian again this week. He's, He's probably sleeping. sleeping. Um, so, hopefully he joins back next week because it was actually his turn to host. But uh, since he is not here, and I know this man's not prepared to host either, <laughs> I'm going to be the host. So... Yeah, I like when Osanda's the host. Let's get right into it. Let's talk about... Actually, let's talk about um, the wizard just... You want to talk about her dream first, or you want to talk about the hot potato first? The dream. Okay. Earlier this week, I had a dream that me and Osanda were waiting in a really long line, and he was getting really impatient, and I was trying to calm him down so that he wasn't impatient. And then we found a... a a tiny pink crocodile <laughs> and I, I me and Osanda together we chopped its head off and then we put his head on a stick so that we could hold the <laughs> stick and we could also make his mouth open and close like we can make him talk and then we chopped up his body we like filleted it and diced it and fed its own meat to its head and the craziest part about that is I wasn't anywhere in the dream. Very, <laughs> very offended. <laughs> she left me and got home sleeping herself. <laughs> <laughs> Missed that all. All the That's a cra- that's a crazy dream, honestly. Like, there's so many layers to that. First off, like, yeah, the fact that you weren't there is kind of funny. But you know what? Maybe, maybe that's what you get for dishing us that day when we went to downtown Disney. I was just dreaming about downtown Disney. <laughs> My goodness. So, that could be that. Um, and then number two, obviously, because the crocodile appeared out of nowhere. Uh, or maybe this is a premonition for tomorrow. Maybe there'll be a you guys will go off on your own at Scary Farm and you'll find a pink crocodile. Oh God! Don't let don't let go off on your own just in case. Yeah, yeah. They're waiting a you... really long one. If you wander around, she's gonna start running away as fast as possible. Yeah, you better not wander because <laughs> no. I mean, I, I, I heard pink crocodile tomorrow. I'm gonna laugh so. Hard. You know they have a really weird menu at Knott's? I mean, they're really, like, focused on it, but they got, like, turtle meat there. Maybe that's maybe it's pink crocodile meat. Maybe, but that's creepy. <laughs> turtle meat? They have turtle meat. They also have snake, too. Either they're lying Ooh, or they're just advertising it like that, but because I was looking at the menu, and it says turtle meat, so it was a little interesting. We saw turtles tonight. Yeah, you could have made some turtle meat if you wanted to. I almost took one home. We went to the commons, you know, a place we went to go to a long. Haven't been yeah. there in a while, huh? Yeah, haven't been there in a minute. Mm. 
Miss Elizabeth, I mean, blah, hell no, wizard is for <laughs> first time. <laughs> really? Oh, the first they time at the comics? Loved it. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Wow. She loved it way better than the Westlake thing. The Westlake thing? Promo. Oh, yeah. It's all right. With the melting pot, or what are we talking about? No, no, the Westlake has something similar. Oh, okay. But it's older, a little old. The comments is cool. It was better when Johnny Rockets was there, because that was, like, the spot. But, you know, that's what you get for serving alcohol to minors, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but the cool spot, I can't look at some they saw the kids walking around there. Hell, <laughs> I mean, like, old times. You know, the, the teenagers that walk around the commons like we used to in high school. Oh, okay. Well, okay, speaking of teenagers in public places, so I have this assignment for school where we're collecting surveys of bus riders, <laughs> and we're currently, the whole class is in a debate over email right now whether or not we want to exclude minors from our survey because there are a lot of high schools around mm -hmm. school or, or college. And our professor shot out the idea that we should ask people's ages before we survey. And I think that's the most horrific thing ever. Because imagine all of us grown people lurking outside of the high school and asking people what their ages are. Someone's going to jail. Yeah. Or <laughs> wait, Professor how White. Are you, how, you, how are you doing the survey? We were, the computers. Yeah, thing? yeah. We ask them questions and record uh, it for uh, them. Uh, <laughs> On our devices, on our phones, so we can't uh, have a clipboard. So okay, so, so but what if he's? Are you gonna? Are you just gonna write it down, or are you gonna tell them to fill out this Google Doc? No, we we do it for them. We fill it out for them. We um, ask them the question uh, and they hmm. answer, and we write it. Hmm. Because if there's like a little a little doc, it could be like select your age range or something. Boom, boom. No. Dun, dun, dun. Or if you just you know like they do it universal, you just. How to fill up the document. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want people touching my phone though. I don't know. But, uh, or, or, or you can just guess to me. Boom, how to fill up the survey and be like at the end. Around 52% of them look like they're under 18. Well, we don't want to talk to children. Oh, oh, you're That's not going to talk. We don't want to talk to them. Yeah. Even if it's just like a, hey man, you take the bus. No. What's your experience? We huh? want to talk to adults. Alright. So now we have to lurk around high schools and ask. <laughs> then one of one of my stops, one of my like sites mm -hmm. that I have to visit is right next to the high school, mm -hmm. and that just makes me so uncomfortable. So. I'm confused. I think I missed the the first step here. If you don't want to survey the kids, why do you have to be near the high school? Is that because that's where the bus stops are near? Yeah, the bus. We're uh. looking at bus stops all around the perimeter of campus. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And mine uh. just happens to be by the high school. Um. Oh. Okay. No. Because I was just gonna say, just don't, you know, be near the high school. Then, but obviously, <laughs> <laughs> obviously, that's not a viable solution. Speaking of bus, I actually went in the bus today again. The LA dot thing. Oh. Um, you liked it, huh? Um. So, the thing is that we were standing, and it was a little a little scary when you're standing, because you are, at least me, I'm afraid, I'm worried about eating shit. So, <laughs> so, what, uh, pause real quick for a second. You stuck your tongue out, you grabbed your shirt, and then you looked at her. What, what is going on? <laughs> like, what? what? Spicy. Anyway... So, I was holding on to the thing with one hand, and it was not a good idea, because, like, as soon as the first lurch happened, I went back a little too much, so then I had to grab on with two hands. Where'd you go? What's the most important? We went from LAUSD to Central Park Plaza, or something like that, I don't know. Very fun. No, sorry, my bad. We went back from Central Park Plaza to LAUSD. Something like that, bro. Did you have fun? It was cool. I went with my coworkers. Um, the ones and I kind of you're gonna get laid off. 
No, not not this conversation, but they did. They were kind of saying like some of the shady stuff that happens with LAUSD, and it was kind of interesting to hear because I didn't expect that shady stuff to happen. Uh, like mm-hmm. I expected that because I've had shady stuff happen with a lot of my other jobs. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a shame though in like two days. Oh, <laughs> my socks, my socks. You, yeah. you haven't changed your socks in two days. Yeah, I, I've been a little late. I haven't gotten to place besides work. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's gross. Yeah. Tell her how yeah. often you changed your mask during the pandemic. How often? I don't remember. You did it. You you never even washed them. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. I was saying I don't remember changing your mask. <laughs> Good stuff, huh? <laughs> Now I hope this. I hope they're telling the truth with the shady stuff instead of just hazing. Yes, they they were telling the truth, and I was talking to the other admin aide, and he was telling me that he's optimistic. He doesn't expect layoffs to happen for a few years. So then, he was telling me to be transparent about with my uh, with our boss and everything. So basically, I am going to be transparent during my performance evaluation. I'm going to just straight up ask her, like, "Hey, do you expect layoffs to happen?" Because um, you know I. So those other people, do they believe that, or like, why do they keep saying that? They really believe it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure they didn't mix up layoffs with hiring freeze. <laughs> no. Wait, heard. going back to the dream. So, <sighs> with the, dr- what's the craziest dream that you've had, Ethan? Oh, man, I don't remember, but I'll go back to this dream that I've always had since I was a little boy. Uh, okay, so I was at my mom's house, you know, uh, the big one he went to, and I was sleeping, and I wake up, like, in the dream. Oh, okay. In my bed, and then uh, the TV would move towards me, and it would look at me, and then... <laughs> There would be a T Rex in the hallway where the stairs were be roaring, and then that happened uh, quite a few times a week. I had that dream, and then it ends. <laughs> so the craziest one I remember because it's the most vivid one I remember because it would keep happening. I was like, hmm. pretty. Did you have like a T Rex anywhere near you during the daytime or something? <laughs> no, and the TV. You know the T Rex were mean. They're actually pretty nice. I don't know. It was like a Nightmare, but it was hmm. just like a, it would just, they, and it wouldn't move. It would just keep roaring. <laughs> it's kind of funny. That's and weird. then uh, it disappeared. But the great dreams are annoying. <laughs> What's the craziest dream you have? Well, I don't remember the craziest dream, but earlier this week on my lunch break, so after the day after I was caught snoring. I fell asleep again. See, oh, by the way, let's take a pause. Osana has learned my tactics of taking a nap at work. Round of applause. He's only two weeks in. He's already a month figured in. I'm out. a month in. He's a month in. He's figured it out. And his coworker has too, apparently. Well, I, no, but I nap during my lunch. So it's okay. I'm allowed to nap on my lunch. I thought you said you're, but your coworker doesn't even, he's farther away, you said, so he can nap all the he, time. He's right next to the to our boss, but she yeah. can't see him because of the angles and everything. Oh. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. um, I've, so the day after I was caught snoring on my lunch break, I fell asleep again, but I learned my lesson this time. Because I didn't wear my AirPods. And (laughs) so I started to dream. And I don't remember the majority of the dream. But I know at the end, I was right about... I was just about to bite someone's nipples. And then when I went to bite... (laughs) When I went to bite their nipples, that's when I, like, jerked back in my seat and woke up. So (laughs) that... (laughs) I think it was probably my exes. Um, 
So, that was having a pussy at a war. Yeah. Not even I do that. So, that was a crazy dream for sure, but I'm glad I didn't get caught snoring. So, it was a happy Or uh, doing ending. anything else. My goodness. What the hell? I'm not going to have a wet dream at work, psycho. <laughs> I don't know, Mr. Nipples. I mean, look, I've masturbated in some crazy places, you know. I did it in high school, so that was the last time that I remember doing it in public, at least. Oh, I've only ever done that at home. At home? Mm -hmm. Wow, what a good boy. I know. Yeah. <laughs> what a nice man. Yeah. No, I would, uh, not what me. You dress, what's your craziest dream? I think Crocodile was up there. Yeah. Good guess, but he pinky Crocodile. Don't, don't, don't say that. <laughs> I should look for that meme. Maybe they're the... Maybe they're the... The fact that we fed it itself is a little messed up. Yeah, that's the darkest part. <laughs> Yeah. The rest of it is not that bad. I mean, we killed it, but, you know, it's a crocodile. But the the cannibalism aspect was... His head on a stick is pretty dark. <laughs> it's head on a stick reminds me of Lord of the Flies, though, so it's not that bad. Do you remember Lord of the Flies, Ethan? I never read that. I never read you, it. you didn't read Lord of the... That's terrible. Mm -mm. But the head on the stick reminds me of those toys, no. I have a universal of those T-Rexes on the stick. That's exactly what my brain was thinking of, yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of that. Well, then, the, at least you uncovered that book. <laughs> yeah, I never had read, read that book. But I, we walked, we saw To Kill a Mockingbird today via book or poster somewhere on the commons. And I was like, man, I remember that book. Well, actually, she asked me if I read that book. I said, yeah, nice school. Remember Scout? Yeah. The uh, main character. Yeah, Scout's cool. Well, at least, I, at least the audiobook is pretty cool. <laughs> I read that book twice. Once in middle school, once in high school. I hated it in middle school, loved it in high school. I just really like the way they pronounce Scout in the audiobook. The book is... They're like, Come on, Scout! <laughs> Great. I could not wait for her word, or that word to pop up, her name to pop up every, every time. What's crazy also, about I loved audiobooks because I didn't have to read anything, so it was a group. I didn't like reading in front of the class. The heck, I don't want to read in front of the class, nor do I want to read by myself. Right, okay, yeah, I mean, that's fair. Well, what else? So... Are we going to explore your whole uh, political thing, or no? I have to make a change in the community. Example A. LA Mayor Karen Bass today said, at least someone pointed out, that during her election she had suggested removing the 90 freeway in Marina Del Rey because it's short and no one uses it. And then what'd she say today? She said, everyone uses the freeway. These politicians lie and are stupid. I'm sick of it. And I'm going to make a change in the community. Because guess what, Osanda? We need more bike lanes and trains, man. Lanes and trains. Lanes, and, again. lanes and trains. You know, I'm not going to be like Newsom going to China and Israel. I'm going to say right here. And uh, and I'm going to make a change in the community of Sonda. Okay? Enough with this line. Enough with this. I'm be the real me. If they don't like it, then I'll make a change somewhere else. Get ready, folks. Sounds like a friend. <laughs> Get ready, folks. You have a real councilman coming your way. No scandals, nothing. Only positive vibes and positive outcomes for the neighborhood. Vote for Ethan 2024. 
I need and I approve this message. That's great. Thank you, babes. No scandals is no scandals is crazy. No scandals? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. No scandals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. I thought you weren't gonna lie. What happened to that one? <laughs> no scandals here, Sander. Only bike lane and train. Okay. Right. What about a Are you are you still gonna gamble? <clears throat> Gambling's not a scandal. I'm not gonna gamble with the gamble with the city's money. I'll gamble with my own money. How are you gonna be able to prove that? Prove it? Well, I'll. They can look. What do you want to show me my bank account here? Put it right now. Here's the face. Look. So you don't you don't you don't need to show it right now. There we go. Right here. <laughs> I'll show you my bank account. Wow, you showed oh. us the login. I'm <laughs> transparent. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> wow. More than those other people do. <clears throat> okay. What's the tax return? Meanwhile, Osana's going to bribe me, so talk about a scandal. <laughs> He's going to try to give me a scandal. And I'm like, nope, not today, <laughs> homie. <laughs> not today. I just, I hope they don't interview me or like have to call me to the stand. In the event of something like that with you, because <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna let you know right now that I'm gonna have to sell you out. Like, oh, Sandra, I'm gonna have to sell you out. I don't have any scandals. What kind of scandals do you have, kiddo? Yeah, what scandals do I have? Hmm? Hmm? I don't want to announce, it, but the wizardress knows. You told her. I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> I know. <what> <laughs> Yeah, she just remembered. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Well, that scandal, I will... It's a scandal that I also have. But... Now uh, I'm confused. I don't know, but whatever pops up, I can... I will tell everybody. Look. I'll <laughs> Look, tell them I dropped a cookie and ate it. I'll tell them that, too. Oh, you know? no, that's not... That's not what I'm thinking. Look, as long as they don't like dive into your past, then you're good. L let's just say that. Right. Yeah. Because I, I, I can, I can dive into Newsom's past and find some crap too. You really don't like Newsom, huh? And I can dive into Karen Bass too, probably. <laughs> that sounds, that sounds extremely weird. <laughs> I can dive into Karen Bass's past. And Oh, actually, my grandma, my grandma, friend, <laughs> no can ask personally. So, I'm sure I can dive into all these people from the high school years and find <laughs> find something crazy. Oh no! Oh man! Oh, God, that's terrible. You, you, yeah. You're gonna have to watch how you s your wording for sure when you run. <laughs> That's why you need a good campaign manager. That's right, and the wizard just is right here. She's gonna be busy with her own thing. Well, guess what? I'm gonna be busy running against you. <laughs> <laughs> no, now I'm gonna do. I'm gonna out all my council members. I'm like, this guy sucks. This guy sucks. Just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. That's. That's a, what a bad idea. <laughs> no, these people look, look, look. Lanes and trains. Okay? Lanes and trains. And and lights that are not out for more than two hours. You know, traffic doesn't, lights. Doesn't uh, jingle well. Lanes it and trains. Look. Lights that are. <laughs> <laughs> Lanes and trains is nice, though. Lanes and trains is nice. That's right. Look at that. Lanes and trains. Made by my... Well, Jack and Sally showed up. Very nice. They yeah, opened the Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh. I learned that um, the city council members of Oxnard, I'll call them out by name if I remember them, but I don't. They are touting 
benefits to South Oc uh, South Oxnard that they that uh, were barely any improvements at all. <clears throat> Luckily, the people behind us weren't so fooled. Which is good. They just kept laughing in disgust. While this man in glasses was like, oh, look what we did. Look what we did. And so South Oxnard is the poorer area of Oxnard for the people who haven't been to Oxnard, California. So the north side looks much nicer with paved roads. And the south side has some kind of, has some kind of rough roads and potholes, you know. And then so the people were complaining, and clearly the council members of Oxnard got a little bucker and spent an hour talking about all the good stuff <clears> they <throat> did. And then every single other motion, other agenda item on on the uh, list, they approved in 10 seconds because they spent <laughs> so long talking about touting about how good they are, are to South Oxnard. They didn't want to talk about Oh, else. and let me now we're talking about this meeting. Let me tell you, these Cops here, the OPD, oh, oh, the Oxnard Police Department. They're doing the whole I pledge of allegiance. Da, 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 right? Then they honored them for yeah. domestic violence awareness. They honored them domestic violence awareness, and then uh, a caller comes. Because they public comments, right? And a caller called and was recalling an incident about how this cop, or both of them, shot a poor brown poor person. Poor as in, not like economic, but I mean, poor as in, I feel bad for guys. Um, for, I think, it was like a traffic a traffic stop or something. And she started off, and who knows, maybe he had some drugs, who knows. But they shot him in the back 30 times! And they recalled the, the, this person only ran away from the guy because the, 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 the brown, the person, um, Overheard the cops saying how they wanted they're gonna murder him, so he turned around and ran. So he didn't initially, it's not like he got out and started running, he was following all the rules. And the cops were saying how they're gonna murder him, so he, of course, he's gonna run away. And they shot him 30 times in the back. And then these city council members honored the whole police department. What the heck, man? Ugh, I want to get up and walk out right there, but I couldn't. So Shame on you, Oxnard Police Department, but really all police departments, because we all know they're not alone. But how, and that was also in South Oxnard, I believe. So, and then they tattered about South Oxnard. See, that's why these people are crazy. You know, the drug arrests they made in South Oxnard. Yeah. So they talk about how they made, there was something like 20 or 30 drug arrests, um, but they only made three arrests <laughs> for stolen vehicles. <laughs> yeah. And they're all very happy when they're saying these stuff. And they're like, oh, yes, 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 look, look at look at these amazing stats. And I'm like, kept saying, yeah, all those brown people you all arrested or shot. My goodness. I don't talk about that. <laughs> okay, you should have seen, look at all those people's faces, the council members, and the caller was telling everybody about it. They, they didn't they didn't have any expression that mm-hmm mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the the mayor every other public comment he would respond to them and say something and mm -hmm. was like okay we're gonna reach out to you and get this issue resolved he said absolutely nothing about that one yeah. which they probably have legal teams that have advised them not to make any kind of comment about that issue yeah like they're all like and then Cough was sitting there. Yeah. They, they kind of, they kind of, they, they weren't stone cold, but they, they, they weren't smiling, but they, they were sitting there and they were a little proud. I don't know. Mm, these people are crazy, man. Very sad. <clears throat> you better be careful. You don't want to get yourself killed. <laughs> That's why I got out of Oxnard as soon as the meeting was over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My ex was born in Oxnard, so... Oh, she was? I, yeah. Oh, I think I remember somebody, yeah. Ooh, yeah, see, she, she, her family did the right thing. They said, let's go to the valley instead. <laughs> well, her grandma still lives there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully she won't get arrested. 
Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll oh, see. Oh, and one more thing in that meeting. They were saying, uh, people were complaining about the alleyways or something being trashed. And the, the mayor is suggesting that the residents should clean it up themselves. Instead of, you know, like a city service cleaning up the trash. They said, man, it's a shame sound like that the residents aren't don't volunteer and help clean up the alleyways. I mean, that's what? not, that's kind of, I, I can kind of get behind that, honestly. That's not At the same idea. time, it's an issue in every city. And so every city just needs to be responsible of having the resources to deal with it. Hey, I bet you North Oxnard, those alleyways don't look like that. They don't have alleyways. <laughs> exactly. See, this is some someone who lived in South Oxnard for a little bit. The wizard, the wizardress. Don't dox her address, bro. No, I said lived in South Oxnard. Oh, okay. All right. At one point. At one point. There That's you go. Part of the reason why she wanted to go to the South the the meeting because she saw on the agenda item that they didn't talk about. <clears throat> uh, um, about some about. Investment in South Oxnard. So I'm thinking that they're gonna like talk, like announce like new sources of funding or something like that. Yeah, crazy. Instead, they got an all defensive mode. I couldn't believe it. Insane. Where are you gonna get the funds to to um start your whole trains and lanes idea? Trains and lanes. Where am I get the funds? Um. Campaign donors. That's right. Campaign donors and the and 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 the state. Newsom can help me out here. He really wants to be my friend. So you expect him to help you after you just <laughs> criticized him? Well, honestly, him. it's helping the people. He wants to help the people. Okay. There you go. Um, I suggest you um maybe look. I mean, look. We 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 voted for the twelve cent gas tax increase for that purpose. So <clears throat> they give us some of the funds, and we even make some nice bike lanes. For example, Canaan Road over here on Agora has one sidewalk, and one bike lane, and then the other side has a big patch of grass. To make another bike lane, another sidewalk over there, so people don't have to keep crossing over. So. Because people still walk in the grass anyway. What about the grass, though? The grass is nice. It's huge. They can just take a little bit and make a sidewalk and a bike hmm. lane. Okay, I guess. You haven't been over here, so you don't know what I'm talking about. I haven't, even... You haven't invited me to your house. How All you? the time I have invited you. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I can't get over there. Now that you drive, then you can drive over here. I'm not. I'm not a good driver, though. Like, I don't think you understand. Like, I'm not the best driver in the world. So that's why I'm, you know. <laughs> um, you're protecting uh, the world. You're. I'm you're. Like I'm sure you're better than your a certain family member of yours that had us <laughs> sitting in the middle of the roadway, taking our sweet time, <laughs> like we were uh, just in the cold of sack or something. I'm sure you're better than that. Than that. Than driving through a construction zone, like. <laughs> I think anyone's better than that. Um, the that family member is usually a good driver to her credit, but um, she just is not good in emergency situ like her, her stressful situations. She kind of does not act to. I'm just glad that there was a nice big van. So <laughs> yeah. that's not a big van was coming. Then I. <laughs> Then I have a whole number to your life. <laughs> Speaking of that family member, I got her a birthday gift, and her reaction to the birthday gift was, Where's the other one? <laughs> hey, I have to just, I'm about to say, Man, you should tell them about the great gift they gave you the, you know, the rings, the custom. Oh, yeah. Rings. Yeah, they got, um, my parents got me. Two custom made earrings, which I gold. gold, yes. Nice. So I'm going to pierce my ears next year, probably around the time we move out. Cause... Why next year? Why not today? 
because I'm since I do jujitsu, I don't want my ears to get infected or anything like that. Because I, from my understanding, from what Chat GPT told me, I cannot remove the earrings. Otherwise, the the piercing will close. Yeah, well, I guess Chat GPT is pretty dang smart in that regard. So, for that so reason, what, what what did you get your what did you get your gift? So you, what she said, where's the other one? Where'd you get it? So for context, she's a fan of two members in BTS. She really likes two members in BTS. Wait, wait, the... wait, 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 what? Yeah, my mom's into K-pop. She's she was wow, into K-pop. I, never, I would have actually never guessed. That's crazy. It's pretty. Cool. She was into K-pop when I was in high school, and I actually went to a K-pop concert, and that's why I hated it because the pe- the people behind us were screaming at a insanely yeah. loud level. Yeah. Um, and you then obviously, you want to go to a K-pop concert? No, you guys should go together. No, nah, I'm not going to go again with my mother. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> okay, so what did you get her? One, so I guess I got, one of the members? So I got her um, Jungkook's like, animal in the BT. So it's a BT Line 21 or something like that. So I got her Jungkook's animal. So when she saw that, she was like, where's V's animal? <laughs> oh, okay. So, my goodness. That, was, that wasn't like a, like a mean, sarcastic tone. It was, like mm-hmm. a, it was like a, oh, man, I'm so excited. Where's the other one? No, oh, it was, no. It was, like a, <laughs> it was more so just, it was, it was, it was like a, like, yes, she was excited. But then she didn't even say, like, thank you or anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. So, and then the sad part, really. Is that I wasn't even surprised that she didn't say thank you. I was just like, yep, this is just. Oh, that is the same. <laughs> that, so, and I was you're exhausted more, from. You're probably more surprised that they gave you the earrings. No, I, I knew about the earrings. Because I, that was like, it wasn't a surprise. Like, they asked me what I wanted, and that's what I want. So that's not a surprise. Okay, well, I guess you'd be surprised. Yeah, well, you'd be surprised. <laughs> so, um. You'd be surprised when they asked if they what you wanted. So that happened. That was a uh, interesting. Um, she enjoyed it. She enjoyed the gift, though. So yeah. So what was it? Was it like a poster? Or like what it was, was a stuffed. It was a stuffed uh, bunny. Oh, nice! So she can put it in her room. She put it in the car, the big truck that you were just thankful for. She put it in that. Oh, oh that's because cute. we spend a lot of our time in there, Monday through Friday, because of the drive. Oh, nice! You have a nice little comfort animal. Yeah. So, the question is, to... are you gonna get her the second one? Probably. Yeah. Oh, how sweet. Um. Yeah, probably, but I just have to wait. Cause so my uh, credit card debt is now down to one thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Ooh, that's like one paycheck away. <clears throat> I know. Pretty dope. It was at 10k six months ago, and now I got it down to two thousand dollars. So that is uh, the benefit of getting dumped, right there. One benefit of getting dumped. Saving a lot of money, yeah. Saving a lot of money. Like he has good start. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe yeah, six months. Like, just kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. no. Ethan, you had like eight and a half years to save up money for a girlfriend. That is very true. <laughs> so and that's what I call girl man. That that's not no. That <laughs> you can't call everything girl math. <laughs> like that's not it. I was supposed to start a therapy consultation today. Oh that yeah, that didn't you, happen. What happened? Because I had to reschedule because there was so much traffic that I wasn't going to be able to make it back home by five forty-five. So I had to reschedule to the next week. Kind of just sucks because I was pretty excited to start. Therapy goal. So number one, I want to learn how to establish, enforce, yeah, establish and enforce boundaries when it comes to relationships. Um, number two, I need to work on how I suppress my emotions. 
<laughs> then look, I was already turning your way. And then he said it, and then it just coincidentally timed up like that. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, I need to work on external versus internal validation. Uh, yeah. So those are my three main goals. And then the cool thing is this therapist, she's online for right now. But then if I do want to see her in person, I can. And her offices are in Calabasas and Sherman Oaks. So it's not even going to be you that far. From, you got it from the list, I sent you, yeah? No. Oh, no. No, but I mean, thank you for sending the list. But I got it from list because you have the same insurance. <laughs> Luckily, she is covered by the insurance though, so it'll be ten dollars. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. so to, oh, I have to pay him right now. Yeah, ten bucks is quite nice. Because huh? I saw it was a, it was a, it said like four sixty five or so. It's a lot of money. Four sixty five. Yeah, that's what it said. Jesus. Normally it's like two hundred dollars. Yeah. Or maybe it's two sixty five. Either way. Two sixty five is kinda high. high. Yeah. yeah. I think it was two sixty five. Either way, ten bucks is even better. And then um Calabasas, so yeah, when you're in the valley it'll be a nice mm -hmm. drive short drive away. Yep. I was also gonna start journaling, so I was looking into journals and everything like that. But um we will see. Because one of the men's journals that I found and everything like that, they have like 80K followers, which they've pretty much all bought because they only get like 10, 20 likes. So. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> is, it, are they, is it like a guy named journal? Yeah. The journal itself seems cool, but um, the the susness of the buying followers yeah. is yeah. um kind of turning me off. Um, yeah, so that was my week. Uh, it was a good week, though, because, again, my boss wasn't here all week. She was enjoying her birthday, so she was out. So I got to watch podcasts and work. I was actually working, but I was watching podcasts, so that was fun. No, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Suburb Talks, because y'all are really good. Not gonna lie. Um, definitely goals right there. Isn't that the one Jordan hates? What Jordan it? hates the basement yard. Oh, he... I love the basement yard. You watch the. You know about the basement yard? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Finally, someone who actually watches it. I'm just watching TikTok clips of them earlier today. <laughs> I've been trying to tell. Joey didn't know that the iron cereal was actually iron. So stupid. <laughs> I have to watch. I have to watch that clip. See, thank you. the The basement yard is way too silly for Christian and Christian, yes, and Jordan, yeah. So they they no. Jordan said it was fast food. It was like a fast food podcast, actually. Oh yeah, he did say that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and no, I was just not everything needs to be like serious and important all the time. That's what I was trying to tell Chris. Exactly what I've been trying to say <laughs> as well. Yes. And they have so many Patreons. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, hopefully, hopefully Christian will kind of see. I, no, you know what? I'm not even going to. There's no way. Like, he's not going to agree with us on that at I all. I can bro. see him <laughs> Yep. He'll say Osanda even though it's not just me who's saying it. Like <laughs> Which is funny, now I can see the really the beginnings of this King Crocodile dream because this basement yard is brush closer together. <laughs> and yes, you guys will be waiting in a long line somewhere eating a pink crocodile talking about the basement yeah. yard. <laughs> I don't want to eat it. I just want to feed it to itself. <laughs> Alright. Sounds kind of interesting, yeah. It can have the same consistency of, like, uh, chicken. 
Huh? It tastes like chicken? No, it had the same consistency. When I was holding the meat and oh. slicing it. Like in the dream or in real life? Yeah, in real life when I was chopping up the crocodiles. <laughs> I thought you were chopping up the crocodiles. I thought you were like... That's such- that was such a boy versus girl conversation right there. That was such a boy versus girl conversation. If my ex was having that same conversation like that, I would have asked the exact same stupid question, bro. Because I thought you maybe ate a character on real life and, and felt the texture. That just shows how stupid men are right there. <laughs> Again, if I was in Ethan's shoes, absolutely 100% would have asked that exact same question. Because you know, like, you know, you know, we had a crack down. My mom ate um, alligator jerky D. in Florida. D. She bought off the side of the road. <laughs> Ethan, you should, you should give the basement yard a chance as well. I will. I'll watch Thank you. Thank you. Price Thank you. I'd rather watch it in real, real life. Well, it's like Emma. I know, that's why I said I'll watch like five minutes. I'll pick the middle ten minutes and I'll watch. No, well, you gotta find like a TikTok clip so you get the best of the best right there. Alright. They are they are pretty silly, and I, I understand that. But again, they are extremely successful. But they are successful mostly because of the fame of Joe Santagata. What is his fame? He started with Vine, and then he had the idiots of the internet. That's how he became really popular. Oh, and, I didn't know that. Yeah. And then he actually, it's a—it's kind of rare, but he walked away from YouTube right in the height of his popularity. Because huh. he, like, he was kind of burnt out. And then he did come back with the basement yard. And him and Danny L, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Him and Danny L had the basement yard. Long story short, Danny left, um, and then Frankie came on, and yeah, now they're freaking um, set. They're making a lot of money. Yeah. Wow, you know, that's some good stuff. I'm proud of them. It's fascinating to me to see how people succeed sometimes, because then, you know, you learn lessons. Mm-hmm. That you try to share with your fellow co-hosts, but one is does not have the attention span to watch, and then the other is just so close-minded sometimes that he absolutely refuses to acknowledge. No, I have an idea. Just tell him Elon Musk is on there, and maybe we'll give it a try. I, we can, yeah, that's that's the great basis. What happened to oh, I'm not gonna lie, it's a politician. Well, that's why they said you tell him. I'm not gonna tell. Him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, let's just get to our current event. So then, um, what was the hot potato? The hot potato is going to be about Kim Kardashian hiring a manny. Did you see that? Oh, manny. Yes, yes. For her male, uh, I mean, for her children that are. Dudes. Yes, that's what. Her sons? Yes, that's the word I was thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> For her dude child. <laughs> yes, what'd you say? Yes, there's a lot of female feminine energy, she said, and she wants them to have some be surrounded by male energy energy <laughs> so what do you think of that uh, what do i think do i have a thought uh wizards what do you think of that um, i don't know i feel like there's a lot of ways to have positive male role models in life and if your money can afford you to get that one way like that's cool but I do think children need both, like, male and female role models growing up. I have the same thoughts as her. You, you're lying because you didn't even believe in role Like, did you believe in role models when you were growing up? Role models. Did I? 
Uh, I don't know. I guess not. I don't know. Did I? Maybe I did. So you look up to your dad. You still look up to him. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you look up to your dad. That's so cute. That's right. My father is amazing. He's the money man, and now that's why I'm the money. You know you're not though. You waste your. Don't worry. I have thousands upon thousands saved up. Okay. Um. And my, I guess my role model, yes, my grandpa's quite the farter, so maybe he's a role model too. Did you say father or farter? Farter. He's a good father too. And a good father. But Wait, yeah, what's up? You know, passes gas. Oh, so okay, I was. Tr- but also, that- father, father, both. He's both. I still, it's so disappointing that he's white, though. It really is. It's- <laughs> <laughs> well, look, you can be happy. I have a successful black grandma. Oh, you do? I told you, she's the uh, what you call it, vice president of the whatever Mon- the company in Monrovia. She. Well, that's good. That is good. That's great news. Yes. And you saw the house she owned. It's a pretty nice house. The one in LA? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, see? Wealthy black grandma. (laughs) Um, with the Manny thing, it's not her worst idea. I, you know, it's... As long as you do a thorough background check, it's it's really not the worst idea in the world. But, you know, you can also, like, put your child in, like, I don't know, like, sports or stuff like that to have. But then, you know, again, it's the whole background check thing. So, really, Kim K has had a lot of stupid comments. Um, this really is not that bad to me. Uh, I know a lot of people were saying, like, should, they should just go with their father, Kanye. Um He's unstable. I was to say, that's a, that's a stupid comment. That's not a good male McCroll <laughs> model. <laughs> In fact, I would say anything is better than going, going with better than Kanye West. Yeah. Uh, you know, Kanye uh, yeah, is can probably... You imagine, can you imagine how they treat their Keisha girlfriends and wives there and they learn from Kanye West? Ooh. No good. Yeah. Um... So Kanye's probably not the best male role model for them to uh, emulate. I don't really believe in the whole role model thing, but I can understand. You don't believe in it. I think that... Wait, I thought you thought Kobe was your role model. <laughs> One of those bad What? Like Kobe. Kobe was never my role model. I hated Kobe when I was young. Yes! Maybe he was mine, because I really like that guy. As soon as I found out about the the possible um, non-consensual sex, I did not like Kobe, and that oh, was back in... Oh, Will Smith, wasn't that your role model? You said, I thought you said someone was your role model. I, I, I did. He was my role... Yes, yes, he was, back when I had role models. Okay. But what, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Just kidding. You said he, right now you don't really believe. Yeah. Him. Okay. Yeah. You didn't say ever. Yes. Continue. Yes. So you know, I don't really. I don't know. R- role models are a tricky concept because I, it borderlines idol culture, and I don't. I hate idol worship and idol culture, so it's tough. But I get it. You know. You. Yeah. I, I get it. Like I understand, but mm, it's tricky. It's tricky. But so overall, you agree then with the Manny hiring? You're not yeah. that okay. That be cool to me because the internet kind of you know was not a fan of the Manny hiring at all. Yeah, but I feel like uh, <laughs> they're not a fan of anything she does. Well, I mean that's also that's kind of her fault though. Let's oh well, yeah, be honest. Or with a band, I just I was. Observing. Setting an observation. For the deep question, 
probably won't ask this. Mm. I thought you skipped a current event. Nah, that was it. What? I told you, I'm trying to go away from the current events, bro. I'm tired of the current events. We spent oh, way too well, much time. You before I said hot potatoes, I thought you had one. Okay. That was the hot potato. Alright. Okay, besides Israel versus pa Palestine, it's been a pretty slow no news week, bro. That is true. And I do not want to... Like, okay, I have my thoughts on that one. <sighs> I... No, see, I, I will. I'll share that. I'll share that off yeah, here. Let's see you on after the recording. I want to hear those thoughts. Oh gosh, I think I'm gonna have to go take it to my screen. <laughs> wow, see, here comes the crocodile dream. Um, <laughs> That's right, and I'm glad to be on that dream. <laughs> um, so let's see. The deep question is okay. This is a, a serious question for you. Mm -hmm. Do you not look at your paychecks? Uh, I just look at the number, how much I'm getting paid, and then I click off. So you don't examine the deductions or anything like that? No, but if I wanted to, I can go back and look. That's insane. So you've, all your life, basically, you've never looked at the deductions? No, I mean, I've, I've, I've seen them, but I haven't, like... Anal you don't analyze them. You yeah. don't like double check to make sure the hours were correct or anything like that. <laughs> no, if if something looks a little, if the number looks a little different than usual, then I'd like oh, or higher than usual, like oh. But then, so if if it's lower than usual, what do you do? Do you do, do you do so anything? Then, then I look at the hours, and make sure the hours are correct. Okay. All right. Interesting. I guess you know what maybe One thing I, I do kind of check sometimes occasionally because you know, they put money into your pension, so I, I and it shows them the cumulative amount. So sometimes I kind of take a look and I'm like, oh, it's been a few paychecks. How much is in there? Okay, all right, all right. Because you're a nonchalant attitude. But I don't like I'm, I don't like to take a whole hour and just like get up and go deep. I take a solid five minutes, like every paycheck, just to. Oh. Analyze oh, I have to look at my. Oh, I spend more time looking at my vacation hours. I must say that, <laughs> <laughs> and figure out how many hours I need to build up to a certain amount of time. And uh, that one, I spent about fifteen minutes on some time. <laughs> okay, all right, I can respect that. But dang, dog, with my old job, bro, they messed up on my paycheck like twice. And if I wasn't keeping an eye on it, they would not have noticed. Yeah, but you know, no, no, I, I don't just hold it. Like I, I look at the paycheck, and then if I know something's like not usual, okay, then all right. And now, then I'll go into further, uh, further, uh, you know, investigation. I don't look at okay. mine either. I don't look at what? my paycheck. I don't regularly look through my bank account. Uh, if I get a, if I get the check at a restaurant, I don't really look through it. I just give it my card. <laughs> That's insane. That's okay, because she's not that much of a money person. So it makes sense. That's his job. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we were talking about houses the other day, and she's I was like, let's own one. She's like, ah, as long as I get to live in one of these things. I'm like, okay. Well, we're owning it yet. She goes, okay. One of these things? Oh, you know, apartment, high rise, low rise, uh, like the different types of houses. Oh, what type of housing it was? Uh, she's like, I want to live. I don't. I wouldn't mind living up here or down here. Like, all right, as long as we're owning it, right? She goes, I don't care. I'm like, we're owning it. <laughs> okay. All right. Interesting. I get it. all right. Fair enough, I guess. The checks at the thing, uh, restaurants. Hmm. I don't really either. I certainly don't. Uh, Focus uh, on, like, on, I don't like spend too much time on the tip. I just kind of, I had a predetermined in my mind how much I'm going to do. And then, you don't um, look to see if you were charged extra for anything? I, I do the quick lands. Quick lands. Okay. Yeah. All right. But no, and, but, uh, especially my dad's around, because if my dad 
excuse me, does not want to kill me. So, because my dad will, like, my dad and I used to go to each receipt all the time for taxis. So, uh, okay, yeah. so I'm more so like your dad in that sense when it comes to stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at it. Oh, and he'll even say, Renee, look at this. This is right. <laughs> this type of thing. This is why I'm surprised that you don't do it. Usually the things when when we go at it's nature not that expensive. Yeah, you know, today it was forty two bucks. That wasn't too bad. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I guess to me it's not that bad. I'm like, oh my god! Like all you ate was a goddamn salad. It was a so big much. salad. No, it wasn't. It was big for me. Oh. Where did you guys go? I went to Crossroads. It replaced the corner bakery in the Commons. It's very nice, actually. It's an all vegan restaurant, but it's like super fancy. Well, not super, but it's more fancy than Corner Bakery. Corner Bakery is pretty good too, though. I like their mac and cheese at least. I, I really haven't had anything else. <laughs> it's actually very, very good. But Crossroads was cool, and he had some pasta, and I had the thing. It was forty. A uh, salad it was forty-two. It was forty-two. Yeah. So this is that's a restaurant where everything's a la carte, and so you get this uh, like twenty plus dollar meal, and then you're still hungry afterwards. I hate that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I hate that. Nah, bro. Depending on the place, I'm checking. I'm checking that bill. Like, <laughs> if it's if it's a regular place that I, then I'm not worried about it. But if it's like a new fancy dining area place, then I'm checking that bill to make sure they didn't double charge. One thing I do check though is I I go through you know the Chase app on my uh, statements and if there's any sense because there have been two times where there's an unknown charge and someone's using my card so I don't report it. Uh, so I do go through that and I'm like what is this what is this what is this oh. uh, yeah see what else uh yeah no I, yeah. That's, that's, that's it. So I'm like midway. I'll check something. Let some things fly by. Like the guy at Carl's Jr. today. Went to Carl's Jr. had $15 in cash. My meal was 12 bucks. I said, hey, just keep the change, man. Keep the change. Don't ever do that to the cashier. What? It's so annoying. They're trying to accept tips. That is the most annoying thing in the world. Oh. Because your drawer ends up being over or under, and depending on the business sometimes like you can get in trouble for having a drawer that's over or under dang well yeah it's actually yeah, it's not. damn so you just made it how you your good deed was unpunished it was punished <laughs> it was really a good deed by me i just really don't want to deal with the change <laughs> wow wow i was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt never mind jesus <laughs> you know <laughs> Yeah. yeah, see, like, your enemies... I wish, I wish they had one of those things like McDonald's has where you can donate, and I wish you put it in there. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I... Although, I think tipping's out of control, so maybe not. <laughs> but we can talk. Let's talk about tipping. Oh, want to know a funny story? Because, I don't know if I told you guys, but, uh, because we went to crum Crumble Cookie. So I had my dad, my dad's credit card, Oh, I first went to Crumble Cookie a long time ago, a few months ago. Right? Overrated, and, overrated. Then Ethan, go get us some Crumble Cookies, right? Sorry, it wasn't my credit card. <laughs> so I went and I got like five of them. It was like $25. And this little computer asked for a tip, <laughs> you know, and they just give the cookie. And I was like, what's well, my card? So I gave him five bucks <laughs> to make it 30. <laughs> right now, I was like, why did you give me a tip? <laughs> I'm like, because it wasn't my card. <laughs> So bad, so funny. Oh man, but yeah, you know, yeah, like that in the subway, people ask for a tip. Mm, I don't do it. I mean, eh, nah, no, no tip for me. I usually only tip when it's you know, sitting down at a restaurant to have a deal. You know, they don't need a tip to make me a cookie, you know. <laughs> yeah, unless I'm using someone else's credit card. I think if they like craft something special to order mm -hmm. like a coffee mm. or if i ordered like a smoothie from jamba juice something mm -hmm. that they're crafting for me right in front of my mm -hmm. face i don't mind throwing them money but if they're i don't know especially when i'm like ordering 
on a kiosk by myself and they asked mm. her to like screw <laughs> you bro but the yeah. most okay the most heinous request that i ever got for a tip was for this like a it was like a club or a bar in mm-hmm. philadelphia mm-hmm. and the balance they car they charged a cover and so the bouncer mm-hmm. takes my card, puts it in his little machine, spins it around, and asks me for a tip. <laughs> the bouncer wanted a tip for charging me to go into the club. Oh, no, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's hilarious. That is so funny. <laughs> yeah. So- I only have tip when it's a sit down. Oh, or or if I'm in like Vegas, some and I. Put the little waitress at the table uh, when they gave me a water. So that's a mm-hmm. I mean, that's a Sandra. What do you even want you tip? Um, I'm usually a generous tipper when it comes to like restaurants. Like my grandpa. How much? How many percentage points? Oh, wait, I mean, more, so like. Earlier on in uh, the relationship, we would get like a forty dollar meal, and I would always leave twenties, so that's fifty percent. No, wow, where do you go? To my grandpa, my grandpa does twenty percent. Um, and then on our anniversaries, I would always do. So like, I, I think I did it like um, one year anniversary. I know I left a fifty dollar tip. Ooh. So then I kind of like kept that going, I think. But I think, I don't remember for sure, but I think on the last anniversary, I might have left the $80 tip, but I don't oh, remember. Bro, so, you know, hey, I will serve you some food anytime <laughs> you want, my son. Um, I'll make dinner for you. <laughs> please leave me an $80 tip. Okay. Um, and then, so when I'm at, okay. The only time I wasn't tipping was when I would be taking Ubers over to the Valley because I was tied on funds, so I wouldn't be tipping the driver. Um, I used to tip all the time, but then I stopped. I stopped tipping like DoorDash and like food delivery too. There was a couple months where I wouldn't do that, but now I always tip usually. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean the the, the self checkout. Those type of things, the tip tipping there is kind of wild. I can definitely understand that, um, to not want to tip there, but uh, other places like yeah, at the coffee, like a coffee bean and everything like that, I'm tipping just because I feel bad. Um, I never do donations though. I never do the. F- I never do the donations. I hate the donations, and I feel bad, like when I'm at like pet uh, pets petco petco, and I say no to the donations. I feel bad and all that, but like. They're like the what donations. You say the homeless pet. <laughs> you have to say no. Like that's so mean. Yeah. The only time I do donations is when they say, "Do you want to round up twenty cents?" I'm like, "Yes, please." That's oh yeah, yeah. Funny. Then then sometimes I say yes. Sometimes I'm just oh, like, "No." Again, even if it doesn't go to the donation, again, I really just, I don't this change thing. I, I don't like. It. So <laughs> it was like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll round up the twenty cents." Whatever. It's just stupid but, though because the company they get to so they like they make the donation with your money but then when their year-end taxes come around they're able to to like claim that they donated all that money mm-hmm. yeah see i heard that they have already made the donations but then we're basically paying them back yeah uh-huh. either either way like i'm not going to mm-hmm. i'm not going to like contribute for you to pay less in taxes fuck that mm-hmm. 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 yeah so mm-hmm. That's that's tipping culture though. I mean, I I understand because I also worked. You know, like when I worked at Chuck E. Cheese, I got tipped like twice, um, and we were actually like delivering the food to people. And my location didn't encourage tipping, which sucked because we were, again, serving it to them, yeah, and cleaning up after them. So it would have been nice if they tipped us, but for whatever reason. Chuck E. Cheese did not encourage tipping at all. And it was so fucking annoying. So, yeah. I, yeah. So, I, that's why I always tip the 20. Just because I understand that struggle. Well, that's nice. I just don't like when the, you know, those those tipping machines, they, they, they try to preset it for you. you know? Oh, I don't like that. They, 
they like I was at oh we had Olive Garden and they press the thing to pan and it has the tip and it has like this ruler and it automatically puts the thing all the way at the highest percentage like whoa man and then and then it just when you try to swip it it swipes it back and like hey 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 man come back and then they've tried to preset it, it's like 25 percent or whatever i'm like hey let me choose my own amount man Don't i've actually me. never seen that that's never happened to me before but you'll notice when, when you, it's only on really on those machines you don't know. It'll be like pre-selected to eighteen or twenty yeah. a lot of the times. And then, yeah, no, I w- that would make me mad too. Not gonna lie, that that kind of pissed me off too. I never mm-hmm. had a pre-selection. I know that sometimes the numbers are switched, so then it's I think like twenty five is on the left hand side, and then yeah, eighteen is on the. You think the lowest would be on the left? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that that's sneaky, that's and awesome. that has tripped me up sometimes. Uh, but the pre-selection, or, I've, I've never yeah, had the pre-selection. The, uh, the tipping, but then. You know, Vegas did it. Some theme parks do it too, but they had they already added the like a five percent surcharge, you know, and then they want you to tip again. Like, wait a second, man! I see your five percent surcharge. Oh, okay. You probably didn't notice it because you don't read checks like me, but I noticed it on the menu. This restaurant, they said um, to pay our workers a living wage, we add whatever percent. Oh yeah, a lot, yeah. Do, a lot of people do. A lot of them do that now. Like, like, just give me one of this healthcare. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, like a lot, a lot of people like like Sea World. Sea World, so they had a three and a half percent surcharge. Everything. Like, oh, okay. And Vegas does it too. I'm like, okay. Yeah. That's fun. F- fun fact: We actually talked about this on the podcast when you weren't here, Christian and I, because there's a Vietnamese restaurant who got roasted for doing that. But then, when you actually do look further into it, they charge like 18%, I think, for parties one or more. Mm-hmm. Um, they actually do give their workers health care thanks to that 18%. So the locals, yeah, the locals don't care about the, the extra charge, actually. Um, so that, I wouldn't mind paying that. Um, and it's also the uh, diners do have the option yeah, to get that removed too. So oh, see, see, when I'm, I'm at these places, they don't, you can't remove it. And they don't okay. tell you about it, and then they try to, they they try to tell you, they try to, they do it, and they advise you to tip again, like on top they, of that. That restaurant does too. That restaurant does too. But like it, Vietnamese, they rich over there. Well, it's it was in um. Prices. Like if you're if you're collecting more money for your workers, raise your prices. What's the point of adding us like a percentage on top? Like that's just weird. Yeah, it's, like a stupid resort. I like I'll send you guys the article because it, it was actually a good read. Because at at first I was like very much against the charge, but then once I like really learned more about it, I was like, okay, you know what? I can actually buy with this. It's not. It's not um, so egregious. Uh, you said 18%, huh? 18%, yeah. For a party of one or more, so everybody. Party is a one or more. Yeah. One or more. It's just so everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but at least those workers are getting the stuff, bro. It's like when Lyft and Uber lobbied for that prop to not pass because they didn't want to raise fees. The prop didn't pass, and they still raised the fees. So that's that's BS, bro. Yeah, that's a, also no good. Surcharge, surge, price, surge, price. Ooh, that thing is expensive. Those guys are expensive, do you think? A lot, a lot of money. A lot, a lot, this is expensive life. Sander. All right. Well, we're going to wrap things up now for this week's podcast. Let me find a quote while Ethan signs himself out. If you're not with me, you're against me. Nope, you can't keep reusing <laughs> that quote, bro. You know what? I want to just do a quick shout out uh, to Hayden Christensen, who it's actually really wholesome how this dude is getting so much love right now. Because during the prequel era for Star Wars, he was absolutely hated. And now, because of how bad Disney yeah, fucked man, up. Let me tell you, I've always loved 
little gay, little gay. Uh, but um, absolutely, uh, it's extremely wholesome to see um, the support and everything that he is getting. Um, yeah, honestly, because yeah, everyone it's, hated it's him. So cool. it, was, it was pretty cool. It was definitely the, one of the best parts of the Soka. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yes. And I'm Ethan. And I, and I was Osanda. This was another episode of The Bouncing Potatoes. Um, all right. The way and you do was, anything. Was oh, yes. I'll let her sign herself up. That's okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm Christian. Yeah, hopefully Christian comes back next week. Um, I would love to see him, or I'd love to hear him get into a debate with the Wizardress. That would be hilarious. Oh. Um, all right. The quote is going to be, the way you do anything is the way you do everything. You're not with me. You're against me. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.